Arena merge. Oh yeah. Let's get her done. What's up guys? Let's pull the game here again. I'm gonna show you the little workaround pretty much for the new uh give monkey cards friends, but uh arena merge pretty much. Yeah, pretty much the same as before. You're gonna have your friend go to hop in the car and go to pause menu. This is the method I found a long time ago, but you'll go to the PlayStation store and sit there. The person and passenger side. The person actually wanting to merge will drive up in his personal car and go down to Imprompt Race. And just go ahead and click on Imprompt Race and your uh, friend should get kicked out of the car. Alright, now he can just stay there. And I'll back up just a little bit. Push my triangle get out of the car. But yeah, if you guys are new to the channel there, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and all that. So I just get out of the car here. Then I get and walk into the bunker. And since my friend's standing there, I'm actually gonna get the enter with friends alert. I just want to get and post circle and deny that. That actually gives me back my interaction menu there, so I can actually invite him to the arena here in a minute. I'm gonna show you a little workaround for how to drive the cars in. Like I said, just getting back out of that. Now I should have my interaction back. So you can register as a CEO and fly down to your arena, or you can uh, job teleport, that also works. Or regular te regular teleport, I mean it still works, but people says it don't, but it does. Alright, so now I'm going to make my way down to the arena. Okay, I'm down here now. My friend, like I said, he's still standing up there, so I'm going to get and walk in here. I already got my interaction menu back, so I can actually get and just invite him as soon as I get in. Now the trick to this, guys, is pretty much like the car you're wanting to mod. You'll let your friend drive it first. You know I mean, so you'll have your friend hop in the car, and uh, you'll populate, like bring up your friend, get quick jobs, and play darts or something, and populate, and have your friend join through the party both alerts you I mean just that accept the first alert and that second alert you'll stay there for like five seconds then accept the second one and that gives you the option for your friend actually to be able to drive the car after you hop out but he'll actually get kicked to the bunker and stuff too I'll let you know here but here we go like I said this my friend's in the car right now I'm getting ready to be on I'm gonna get and populate but as soon as your friend hops in the car, the car is on. I mean, he's gonna be invisible to you on your screen. But like I said, as soon as he hops in, he's gonna join me through the party, accept that first alert, and stay on that second one for five seconds. Just accept it. And he should come back down. He's in the car, and that's when I can hop out of the car. On his side, whenever you hop out, it's gonna show you actually driving into like a glitched-out bunker. The person driving the car is. But once you get on that black loading screen, you'll just join your friend that's populating again. you accept the first one and stay on the second alert for five seconds and accept it. Then you should spawn actually right back into the car right behind me. Like I said, you just gotta wait till you get to the bunker part. The black loading screen, accept your friend again through the party. You should see in a second, he's actually gonna do a little burnout. Let me know he's actually good. And before you start this glitch, you can always test your uh, internet so you don't get that getting kicked out of session part whenever you're actually trying to join your friend. Sometimes it kicks you out of session. Just get and test your internet, then you should be good. Like I said, I'm just waiting on him to his spawn like in the bunker and everything. Get finally get on the black loading screen and stuff like that. So there you go. He's back after doing that job, so he's ready to go. Now I'm going to push right D-pad, bring the car in, I'm going to take the mods off of, and put on that other car. Here's a little push method I found, a little easier. When you get on this part here, just push your pause button, and it makes it a lot easier to push, guys. Okay, I'm going to pause button, he's going to push. He's pushed me out of the mod shop. As long as I'm out of the workshop area, I'm good. And he's going to bring the car back in, I want to transfer all the mods to. So I'm going to get and change something on this one and exit the car. Make my way over here. He's actually right beside me, but I can't see him. So I'm going to hop in, hold pause, and I go pause. 
and spam left D-pad. That part's a little tricky, guys, but I finally get it. If you do mess up, your friend has to walk outside, and after like 5-10 seconds, he's going to get kicked to the default bunker again. And you can just re-invite him back to uh, glitch your car out again so he can actually drive it. But you got to do that part every time you mess up, or each time you do a car, actually merge a car, your friend has to go outside and stuff. Then you can invite him back in and do the populating part again. It's kind of like a little repeat method there. Hold on there you go, I finally got it. Like I said, hold and pause, let go pause, and spam left deep out. <laughs> kind of tricky, but... And of course, you get kind of stuck like that, so go into first person. And uh, push your L3 and R3 together to do your, your action mode, what do you call it. I'm going to go up here and see the car. I said my friend he's still in here but he's invisible so I'm going to actually have him walk out in a second and like I said he's going to spawn up at the default bunker it's like we're going to do a couple of loading things on his side but he'll spawn at the default bunker outside and I can invite him back in and we can merge another car shout out to my buddy uh, man made thug for finding that part the repeat method Okay, like I said, just gonna change something on it and you're good. Again, change a few things here. Fast forward that for you. I just fully upgrading it. Okay, I'm gonna do another car here real quick for you. Explain it again. I'm wanting to give my friend access to drive this car, so I'm in the car. He's gonna hop in and he's gonna go invisible. There he's invisible. Now he can join me through the party. Accept the first alert and stay on that second one for five seconds and accept it. And he should spawn back down in the car. When he does, I can hop out. On his side, it's going to show him spawning in the bunker. Just wait a few minutes and it should actually spawn him uh, on like a black loading screen. And that's when you want to join through the party again. You accept the first alert, stay on the second one for five seconds, then again accept it. And he should be able to drive my car. But like I said, every time we mess up, guys, just make sure your friend goes outside, and I can invite him back in. Like I said, when he goes outside, he's gonna glitch out a little bit. But just wait till he actually spawns outside completely. Okay, now I'm bringing the cars I want in with the mods on. Taking the mods off of this and putting on that voodoo. So I'm gonna go in the pause button here, so he can actually push me a little bit easier. Make my way about right there outside the mod shop as long as I'm out of the area here. Now I can back out of the pause menu and change something on it and back out. Like I said, guys, this part's the tricky part sometimes, but holding your pause, you know, let go pause and spam left D pad. Got it, okay. Now let's back out. See how it makes you run sometimes. Let's go into first person, like I said. Push your L3 and R3 together. Make my way over here. The car should be changed. Where's that? Oh, it's over in the corner. Yeah, yeah just gonna hop in the car. Drive it in. Change something on it again, and it's saved. Like I said, the next car you want to do, just have your friend go back outside again. He'll get glitched out like into like a low default bunker and get kicked outside. That's when you can invite him back in again to merge another car. This is shout out to Man Man Thug for their little repeat method. Me and my impromptu race and the easy push method. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video here. I forgot to get it out to you guys. Let you, let you know it's still working in a newer way. I mean, it's, it's not that bad. Plus when you're actually, say, your friend's outside and you want to go into B1 or B2 of your arena, you can actually go in there and see what you got and move all the cars around and that won't unleash your friend. As long as your friend's outside, I'd just do that, you mean. Whenever you're ready to merge your next car, have him go out and then you'll go in whatever garage you want, you mean. And it should be good. 
Okay, got that one modded. Ain't too bad of a 3D. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video here. Like I said, new. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and all that. But this is the Lost Polar Gamer guys, and peace out. Oh yeah, get her done.